I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers. Today I'm going to be going through how to connect a Draytec router to PFSense. The Draytec will be initiating the call and PFSense will be receiving it. We're going to be doing this over an IP VPN, so it's land to land based scenario. Um, the reason I'm doing this is basically we installed a PFSense router at the head office. Um, it's a routed network, so there's no need for modems and stuff. The bars are all running Draytex. The Draytex are a very popular router in the UK. Uh, the reason they're so popular is because with a firmware flash, which is certified to work with the BT network, um, you don't need to use BT's modem for the fibre broadband. So that's why they're so popular. They're quite cheap as well. I'm not going to replace them. There's absolutely no point in replacing them. That's just extra cost that's not needed to do. There's nothing wrong with Draytex. They work perfectly fine. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to uh, where you can purchase these Draytex as well. The one that we're using is a 2860. Um, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you hit the notifications icon, you'll get a notification of any videos that I do in future. If you'd like to hire us for any projects, um, like this one for example, head over to our website, click on the hire us button, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for, um, I'll review them and I'll get back to you with whether we can help you or not. Um, I'm glad that intro's over, it's about the tenth time I've done it, saying hi, I'm Sam Sheridan. I bet Tom Lawrence doesn't have these issues. Um, actually, if you're not familiar with Tom Lawrence, he's done a lot of videos on PFSense and they're very good. I'm not sure if he's covered IPsec VPNs without going back on them, but I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Um, as I say, I'm guessing he doesn't have to do intros keeps recording them one after the other and one after the other till you get them right and then uploading them. Um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and log into our Draytech. Okay, so we're fully online and the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into VPN and Remote Access. And we want to select LAN to LAN because we're creating a LAN to LAN VPN. Now you notice we can have up to 32 entries here which is um, handy if you dial into multiple sites. Um, so we're just going to set up to connect to the head office here. So we're going to select the first empty profile which is profile 1. Let's go ahead and set this up. So we need to give it a profile name. So I'm going to call it head office. Um, I'm not going to bother enabling it just yet. And we want to select the one port that we want to use. So we're going to use one one only and we've got the subnet here. Um, you can't see it, it's going to be blocked out, but trust me, it's there. Um, and we want to set the type of server that you're calling as an IPsec and we're going to set it to version 2 there's no need to use IP, um, IKE version 1 unless you know for legacy devices and you really have to you're much better with version 2 it's much faster um, uses less bandwidth um, so we've got that in there we're going to want to set in here we need to put in the IP address of the um, PFSense box that we're connecting to Let's go ahead and put that in. Um, on this side, we have call direction. We want dial out only. We're not going to um, receive connections from PFSense. We're literally going to dial in and we're going to set it to always on. Um, we want the connection up all the time, so we've got full LAN access, uh, full VPN access to the other side. Um, so IKE authentication method. We need to set a pre-shared key for this. Um, I'm going to generate this in PFSense just because so go ahead, log into PFSense. Um, now at this stage, we want to configure the IPsec VPN. So we're going to go into VPN, IPsec. And we need to set up phase one. So key exchange version, IKE version two. Uh, internet protocol is IPv4. 
we need to select the interface that we're going to uh, receive connections on. So in my case, this is OP2. And we put the re address of the JTEC router that's connecting to us. So let's go ahead and stick that in. Um, so in there we have the one address of the JTEC. That's a remote gateway, we need to know it. And we need to put a description in, so I'm going to call it my bar P1 for phase one. Um, phase one proposal authentication. So, well, mutual PSK, um, my IP address for the identifier, and for the pair identifier, we want the pair identifier. Uh, the pair IP address, sorry, and I'll show you where to put that in a second. Um, this is a pre shared key. Let's go ahead and generate that. So, in pre shared key, if we click the button, we can just paste it, but let's do it this way. So we've got the pre-shared key in there. Uh, ensure that the box is highlighted for, selected for pre-shared key, sorry. Um, for the security method, we want the highest that we possibly can. So we want AES authentication. AES with authentication, sorry. Um, and if we go into advanced settings, um, we're gonna select the strongest uh, connection algorithms we can, so AS256, SHA256, G14. And again for phase two, we want the strongest that we can have, AS256, SHA256. Um, perfect forward secret, you want to enable. The phase one key lifetime, 28800, we can check that, but it's the default in PFSense as well. And we want to put our local ID in, which is the IP address, our one IP address of this. So if we go ahead and put that in. Um, dialing settings, yeah, we don't need any of this. We're not dialing in, and it is disabled up the top anyway. You don't need to worry about any of this. GRE settings you don't need to worry about. Um, so down here we do need to figure the TCP IP settings. So my one IP, obviously put your one IP address in. Remote gateway is the address of the PFSense box, which is the same address that we put in up here. The remote network IP, so this is the um, subnet and IP range of the so that's connected to PFSense. So let's go ahead, stick that in. Remote network mask is a uh, 24. Local network IP is the IP address of this box, this JTAC, and local network mask, which is picked out itself automatically. Uh, the only other thing that you need to set on this side is to ensure that we selected root on here. We don't want to use that, we want to be rooted. Um, now that should be us set up. You'll notice that I haven't enabled this profile as yet. So now we can see we've got our LAN to LAN profiles and it's currently disconnected. It's not enabled, it's going to be disconnected. So now let's go back into PFSense. Um, we've copied the key across, so again we need to set the phase one proposal up here, which we do the same as we just have done. So it was AES for phase one. We chose the strongest key length, which was 256. You do have other Hash is available, we chose the strongest one that we could, which was 256, and the DH group we want is 14. You can see here the key lifetime in seconds is 28800, which was the same as we saw on the JTEC. Um, the only other option that we need to set here is responder only. We don't want to initiate connections from our PFSense box, we want the JTEC to uh, automatically dial into us whenever it comes online. Just go ahead and tick responder only. 
Now if we do that and save, and apply the changes, So we can see the summary of our phase one here. So IKE version two, the interface and IP that, um, of the remote gateway and the interface it's coming in on, the uh, phase one protocol, the hash that we're using and the DH group. And we can see the description as well. So now we need to go ahead and add the uh, phase two entries. Just do that. So here we want tunnel IPv4 LAN subnet, no, we don't have to specify here, we can't because PFSense knows that, it's clever enough. Um, NAT translation, we don't want anything. The remote network, we're going to set to network, and here we put in the local network um, IP range, which is 192.168.1.0, and ensure you select the right. Uh, bit mask, which is 24 in this case, 255.255.255.0. And for the description, this is purely for admin, my bar, phase two. And um, so obviously you can identify each incoming connection that you have. Now, for the phase two proposal, we want protocol set to ESP. We can untick these, we're not using them. Uh, and we chose 256, we want the strongest encryption algorithm we can. And from the bottom, we just need to ensure that SHA 256 is selected for the hash algorithm, which is what we did from the advanced settings on the JTAC. The PF key group, the PFS key group, which we, we enabled um, that on the JTAC, so we set that to 14. And it does say, no, you know, groups 1, 2, 22, 23, and 24 provide weak security and should be avoided. Um, again, a bit for encryption algorithms, it says Blowfish, 3 DES, Cast 1 to 8, provide weak security and should be avoided. Now, there's plenty of tutorials and um, using them for connecting from JTEX, don't do it. Um, now, if we go ahead and save that, And apply the changes again. Now that should be us all set up. So we can go into related status. So now we can see the um, IPsec. But it's disconnected because we haven't told it to connect yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Enable. OK. And from the JTEC, we can go into connection management. Um, and it connected before I could even go ahead and click connect. So our IPsec tunnel is now complete. Um, so if I pull up a command prompt, I should now be able to ping the local IP address on the other side of this tunnel. And there we go, I'm now pinging the local IP address. Um, I don't know what other devices are on there, so I can't ping other devices. It will work. Um, if we go ahead. So that is was all set up. So from the other side, we want to check that we can um, Do that so if we go in and we can see we're going into VPN status, our VPN is up. Um, so from this side, I'm going to go into diagnostics, ping diagnostics, and I want to try and ping the local IP address of the PF sent, which is 10.1.10.253. If we go ahead and run that, please wait around for 10 seconds. Ah, 
and request I know. Oh, that's perfectly acceptable. That's what we wanted. Um, the connection goes up, but what we need to do is go back into PFSense. Um, go to Firewall, Rules. I'm going to... Outstanding one's changing. And we need to go into um, IPSec. So there's no rules set on our IPSec interface. So we need to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pass IPSec. Address from the IPv4 protocol. I'm going to set that to any. Um, and I'm going to leave this as any. You'll want to restrict it down to your networks. But now if I go ahead and... Um, allow IPsec. And uh, save that. Apply the changes. So now we've allowed um, anything to float around on the IP second interface. As I say, you're going to want to um, restrict this down to the networks and stuff. I'm just going through how to to get the tunnel up. So now if we go and do this again. What's this not work? And we've received the reply, so we're fully up and running. Um, I do know on this side we have something on 10.1.10.1. And you can see that's changed, pinging 10.1.10.1. So our tunnel is completely up. So I hope that helps and if you've had any queries on setting up um, a connection, an IP set connection between a Draytech and PFSent, that is pretty much how you do it and that's how easy it is. Um, again, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and um, also please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to head, um, hire us for anything, like I said at the beginning of the video, head over to our website, fill out the, uh, click on the hire us button, fill out the form and we'll come back to you.